Yo guys, before I start today's video off, I'd just like to talk a little bit about Streamlabs. Uh, now Streamlabs is a multi-cross um, stream platform that will basically allow your channel to grow 10 times faster. Uh, now if you actually click the link in the description down below, you'll actually get 70% off of this and um, basically just check it out for yourself if you want, want to. But um, Streamlabs actually offers a design your own stream, stream overlays, alert box themes, alert box sounds, logo maker, multi-stream, custom tip page tips and a mobile app. It also has the App Store, Merch, CloudBot, Charity, uh, Sponsors and then a, a couple of the other apps followed around of this you will get included in the um, premium pack. So it's, a, a, it's worth checking out and like I say you get 70% off if you do use my code or my link that's in the description down below. But in my opinion it's really worth it as your channel will grow literally 10 times faster. Yo guys, welcome back to another video. Now today I'm actually going to be showing you a method on how you can actually mesh the Big Luna Cave. Uh, now I'll actually be showing you a method on how to mesh all your cave uh, either later today or tomorrow. Uh, now first of all, what you are going to want to do is actually build this structure as you can actually see here. So um, what it is, is you are going to want to go 6 along. Uh, so go 6 downwards. And then on the fourth foundation, what you are going to want to do is build two out on either side and then build one foundation in each of the corners next to that. Um, so as you can see, this is the six that go along here. Then on the fourth foundation, what you are actually going to want to build, obviously, is the two um, the two foundations. Uh, and then next to the two foundations, what you are going to do is put one foundation in each corner. So there, as you'll see here, you've actually got like a square. Um, so actually got two, uh, like one foundation at the top, one foundation at the side and then two at the other side. Um, so as you can see, it's pretty easy to build. Uh, and then once you've done this, what you are going to need is also a teleporter, nine walls and a lot of ceilings. So what you are going to do is come to the longest side, get the teleporter and slowly walk all the way backwards until you uh, have like a little gap on the end of the end of the foundation. Uh, now make sure it's not like too much of a big gap. You are going to want it to be quite close, but not too close if that makes sense. So you can actually put the wall there still. Uh, now this also does work on official. It does work for all caves as well. Um, but like I said, I'm just going to be showing you this for the Big Luna Cave. And I'll be showing you a, a method for the Oil Cave as well uh, later today. And what you are going to do is actually build the nine walls up high where you've actually put the um, teleporter. So as you can see, like the little terminal part of the teleporter. Build nine walls all the way to the top. Now this can actually also be made with any uh, material as well, um, so like wood, stone, metal, all that stuff. Uh, now I think there is some trouble with the, uh, using it with thatch, so just be careful if you are trying to use this with thatch. I would recommend using it with wood or anything other than thatch really, um, just so it's more efficient. So next up what you are going to do is just fill the, um, the top with ceilings. Uh, now you don't actually have to add any extra uh, like foundations or anything. Um, your ceilings will look basically exactly the same as mine if you've actually done the foundation part right. Because um, there's no foundation uh, support to actually support any of the other ceilings. And so that's why you actually get this like pattern as you can see here. And uh, this is what you are actually looking for to get this pattern. Um, so it doesn't have to be fully covered, but as long as you've got this, what I'm building now, um, it should work every time you actually do this. And so next up, once you've actually got this structure like this, that's actually the first teleporter built. Now what you are going to do is make sure that teleporter is actually above the part where you are wanting to drop through a mesh. So make sure it's like, if you're meshing the big Luna, make sure it's in like a bigger open bit. So when you do drop do drop through, sorry, uh, you also drop through into the, uh, the cave itself to mesh it. Uh, next up, what you are actually going to do is actually get another foundation and just put a teleporter down. Uh, now, this teleporter can actually be anywhere around the map. It doesn't have to be right next to it. Um, but for the, obviously, the case uh, or the um, purpose of the video, yeah, I'm just going to build it right next to it. Uh, and it can actually be in any position or anything, like I say. Uh, just make sure it's just you've actually got another teleporter to teleport to the other teleporter, if that makes sense. Uh, next up, what you are going to do is actually get the generator. So make sure your teleporters are actually powered. Um, so I'm just going to cut the video here so to actually get some element. Um, so as you can see, I just have to get some element there. Uh, but yeah, so once you've actually got your generators up and working and all your structures built like I do actually in the video, next up, all you're actually going to want to do is actually get a mech. And then what you are going to do is actually assemble the mech uh, next to the first, the second teleport would actually build, sorry. So this is the one what you are going to want to teleport to. Uh, so make sure once you actually do get your mech, you actually go to the other teleporter and um, assemble the mech next to this teleporter obviously and teleport over to that teleporter and what you should actually see what happens is you will actually go through the mesh and uh, now because I'm actually doing this solo you will just see the mech fall through the mesh and I'll actually have to be um, following it in, in the ghost mode um, so there's no actually point of view in this one but for the oil cave I've actually got a point of view um, for the actual mesh uh, so you don't need to worry about that but what would happen if you are actually doing this on, on a official someone will have to actually stay in the mech while somebody teleports you to the other teleporter um, so obviously you drop into the mesh with the mech um, if that does make sense so as you can see make sure that uh, the mech is on the teleporter correctly facing towards the terminal uh, that's always the best way make sure it's make sure it's facing the um, terminal 
And then next up, just teleport it to the next teleporter. Make sure someone's obviously in it, obviously, uh, with element and stuff. But teleport to the next teleporter. And as you can see, it does glitch through the teleporter because obviously the ceilings above it are blocking it. And if I was going to um, ghost mode quickly and actually just follow it down, you should then see the mech just actually drop through, obviously, and goes into the entrance of the cave or just below the teleport where you actually did build this. So as you can see, it's still dropping now. And then it will eventually get inside, obviously, the cave. And then you can actually do this at any part of the cave as long as it's open underneath you. Uh, so you don't actually just drop straight through the world and stuff. But thank you for watching. If you like and subscribe, I hope this helped help you all out. And um, obviously comment down below if you are struggling with any parts of the video. And uh, also join my Discord server if you really want to, if you uh, do need any extra help.